a space where we're celebrating the thoughts and the work of black women, you know. And at the background, in the background, she's got a, a portrait of Umam Nomzamo Matikizela in the background. And she is one such woman who paved the way for us to be able to. She used her voice so we could use our voice. Mm -hmm. Tandi Samazwai uses her voice so we can use our voice. Mm -hmm. And when we do it for the future generation, they'll know that they too can use their voices. They can articulate themselves. They can articulate their truths. And so it's a beautiful continuation of um, different thoughts, different ideas coming together to see that sometimes you'll do it like this. Sometimes you'll sing. Sometimes you will be in academia. Sometimes you will be a poet. But what you will do is use your voice. And that's important. You want black women's bodies on the line, but not the front line. You endorse intersectionality, but not at the expense of your praise and visibility. Nine, terms and conditions of your solidarity. No feminism, limited feminism. No feminism that exposes patriarchy. No feminism that disturbs patriarchy. Only feminism that will show up with pom-poms and struggle songs. My God, do not forget the struggle songs and silence. It's not about politics, your politics. 10. What's the point of liberation and claiming back land if neither of us will be here to receive it? Stop making our bodies a cemetery. I did not come here to die or to be a sacrifice. So me. First of all, this is fun. This is hella fun. Like the whole afternoon, the talks, the DJs, the music, people look beautiful. It's a fantastic space to be in. And I only hope that it's an invitation for other women who are going through the same things that we're going through as black women to also either create platform for, platforms for themselves or to join the platforms that currently exist yeah. because um, because we share the same space, we share intimate spaces, we share the same land, we're, we're, you best believe we're going through the same problems. Yeah. Um, and I, it also, I don't want it to seem like, you know, black women are the ones with the most problems. It's just that our, our, our laundry gets aired out more than everyone else's laundry. I just think that it's important to stress what a special thing this is that Tanto is doing. Um, she is the most powerful woman in the industry and for many years. So she is the person that should be doing this. It would be pointless if somebody with a smaller profile did it because it wouldn't have as much impact. But if someone as powerful as her yeah. can create a platform like this and create that dialogue, then yeah. for me that's a huge gift to our society. Yeah. And then obviously um, I've known King Tao all my life. <laughs> <laughs> and it's fabulous, you yeah. know. Um, it's so funny because uh, I think I've got the coolest big sister in the world. I think you do. <laughs> and I think it's quite an enviable position. Yeah. I think you do. <laughs> yeah, and I think I'm awful because I'm not very like shy and graceful about it. I'm yeah. like, yeah, I got yeah. Tandy. So I got Tandy. <laughs> I got it. She's mine. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so, but that's a good thing. Hello, <laughs> mommy. Yes, yes. <laughs> thank you so much. Nancy. So, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. <laughs>